does this button do with Geeks on Tour? Episode 50. Episode 50. It's an mm -hmm. educational show about smartphones and tablets with us, the Geeks on Tour. Hi, I'm Jim. And together with Chris, my wife here, we are Geeks on Tour. Do you think your smartphone is smarter <laughs> than you? Do you think your smartphone is smarter than you? <laughs> do you think your smartphone is... Do you have questions about your Android phone or your iPad tablet? And how do you learn about these amazing devices? Well, we are geeks who teach, or at least we try to. And we think the best way to learn is on a regular basis in bite-sized pieces. So that's how we came up with this weekly show. And on our website, we have prepared tutorial videos on all sorts of topics. This is a weekly live show where we try to cover something new each week. Yeah. And try to have fun doing it. That's true. That's <laughs> why we wear these silly hats, so we, we don't take ourselves too, too seriously. So we're in Long Beach Island, New Jersey again. This is where I went to high school and college years. We had a restaurant up here many, many years ago and just love it. We're visiting friends and we'll show some of that. It is a beautiful place. You'll be seeing some of the pictures today. Yeah. Well, we think we have a good show for you today. A quick tip first about multitasking on the iPhone calls or any phone call. And our beginner's lesson is focus on photos. Primarily Google Photos. It's just what we're having the most fun with now, and we wanted to have some fun today. <laughs> and our app of the week this week, Fish Predictor, and we'll show you how that came in handy this week. If you have questions, ask them there in the comments. And the show is recorded on YouTube, just in case. You can always find links at geeksontour.com slash weekly show. Ready for some quick tips? Okay. Well, what I want you to do is to call me. Okay. Because here's the deal. We teach this in live audiences too. And so we know that people do this. How many of you have ever gotten a call and the person on the other end of the call says, do you have the phone number for so-and-so? And you say, well, yeah but yeah. it's in my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and call me and we'll demonstrate how you can do this. Okay, I've just made the call. I say, oh no, I'm getting a phone call. Oh, right, it's from you, okay. So I answer the call, he's calling me, and now we're talking, we're talking. and we're talking, and he says... Uh, Chris, uh, we need to make a calendar appointment for lunch with Betty on Tuesday, I think. Okay, so I need to check my calendar. And I tell him, well, my calendar's on my phone. Can I call you back in a minute? <laughs> no, don't call me back. Do it right now. Now, be honest. How many of you have done that? <laughs> you say, I need to hang up so I can look it up on my phone. Okay, so there's three little tricks. First, you need to be able to take the phone away from your ear, right? So you can either do that by just putting it on speaker and now I can hear it. But if you're in a noisy area, that's not gonna be so good. So you'll want an earbud, you know, and, and then you can hear in your ear while you do other things on the phone. But you like this other thing better. Yeah, I, know you <laughs> I like my old lady phone. It just plugs into the headset jack, just like any other headset. That is just too funny. <laughs> it's called a retro headset, and you can get them on Amazon for, I don't know, 10 bucks or so. And it, it's just, just such a hoot. Okay, so now I can be talking to him. I can continue our conversation, and I can, so now, step two on the, your phone is to tap the home button. So I don't need to be on this call. I want to go to my home screen. But the call is still active. I'm, I'm hearing him, he's hearing me, and I can see his little face on the active call, but meanwhile, I can use my phone for anything else I want. So I can go to calendar, 
can look up a calendar time and say, oh, okay, you know, that uh, next Tuesday looks okay. Let me put it in here. And then if you've set up your calendars properly, <laughs> he'll see that on his calendar and it'll be on mine, et cetera, et cetera. So then the last step is, okay, now how do you hang up since the phone screen is gone? Well, it, it'll be slightly different on every phone, but somewhere, usually at the top, you'll either see the whole call, like this one has his little face and I can just tap it, or, and then I see a red phone that hangs up, or uh, there will be a little red phone just up in your notification bar. So keep an eye on your notification bar. That's where things happen. All right. All right. So you that's. Can, you can hang up on me now? Yeah, I hung up on okay. you. Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, so that's, and as I say, we, we do that in our live audiences, and we ask how many people <laughs> have needed to know that, and a lot of people do, so. That's yeah, very handy, very good tip. Okay, so now uh, ready for Google Photos? Yeah, fun. we love Google Photos. This is just too much fun. We really do love Google Photos. In fact, our special photo website called Picasa Geeks you can now get there by typing in I love Google Photos dot com as well. Isn't that cool? Uh, I, I still have a lot of more work to do on the website, but it is going to be both about Picasa and about Google Photos. Picasa for the computer, Google Photos for the web. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we've been, you know, we are always in beautiful places. So we take a lot of we pictures. We take a lot of pictures. So the reason. Oh, I know. I do have a couple of slides on this, so let me go back to the slides. That's where I'm supposed to be. Okay. Okay. There. And, oh, we've also done a couple other shows about Google Photos. So just as a reminder, we're, we're just going to play with it today. But if you wanted to know how to get started with Google Photos, we did that in episode 42. And if you want to know just what is it you know why does it exist that was the overview the number 44 and then we had another quick tip in episode 41 so please review those if you're into google photos but today and if you are a member you can go right to the specific parts by looking at the show notes yeah now i do write up show notes and if you were watching last week's show about cleaning up your contacts, it's a pretty long set of show notes. We did a lot of detailed pieces, how to instructions last week. Today, it's going to be just more show you why we think you should use Google Photos. Not so much of the specifics of how, yeah. but why, because it's so much fun. Okay. And the first reason why is because you have unlimited storage in your Google account for all of your pictures. And if you're anything like us, you take a lot of pictures and it's an overwhelming task to think about working with them. But if you use Google Photos, boom, they just all collect in this giant warehouse. For it's when kind of scary, actually, because there are so many pictures. There are lots of pictures. And then you can find them, too, because Google gives you way cool ways to explore. They also give you some pretty nice ways to edit. You don't have to have other editing software. And then there's things you can create. I think Jim has been having the most fun with that. And we'll, show, we'll let him show you a couple things that he's it created. It's amazing what it can do with just a few clicks. I, I mean, I've been working with photos for our whole 12 years on the road, but he is going crazy now because of Google Photos makes it so much fun. Yeah, going crazy for me was a very short trip. <laughs> short trip. <laughs> and then lastly, you can share them. Easily share them with Facebook or Twitter or just grab a link to a group of photos and share that link anywhere you want. All right. We have some any questions that should be handled now? Or? Well, let's see. Let's real quick. Let's, uh, Marty says, watching from Red Bay. Good question regarding getting rid of duplicates and triplicates. So if somebody does 
Okay, Catherine wants to know, how does Google <laughs> Photos handle duplicates? <laughs> oh, Catherine, I think you probably know. It doesn't handle them very well at all. <laughs> or, or shall I say, it handles them just fine. I got lots and lots of duplicates. <laughs> duplicates is probably the number one issue that people bring up when it comes to Google Photos. It's supposed to recognize when you're uploading a picture that's the same as one that's already there, but I haven't found it to do a very good job at it. The key, the, the thing to understand is the all photos of Google Photos, the place where you see all the duplicates, is just your giant shoebox of pictures that is for your eyes only. So right now, I mean, someday Google might get good at hiding duplicates, but right now, you just have to get over it. <laughs> you, you have to be willing to view duplicates in your giant set of photos. But when you share them, you won't share the duplicates. You will only make albums of one each of your best photos. You'll only make movies with one. So the duplicates, you are only the one seeing that. No. So. And Marie wants to know, what's new with Picasa? What's new with Picasa? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, there is one tiny thing. With the advent of Google Photos, in Pic Picasa's on your computer for managing the pictures on your computer. Google Photos manages your pictures on, in the cloud, on your Google account in the cloud. There is a button on Picasa. Well, I guess I could... Shall I show that? Sure. Let's try okay. That. Let me see. If There's a button on Picasa. Uh, that was that originally was called. Okay. Oh, I'm live again. I don't know if this is actually working right, but. We will try that again. I'm sorry about that. We were in doing our... Well, I was just, I was answering the question about Picasa. I think maybe I won't bother going to Picasa, but know that it used to have a button called share. It originally had a button called upload, and that went to Picasa web albums. Then that changed to share on Google Plus, and now it says upload to Google Photos. So that is a good sign, but there is no, there's nothing under the hood that has changed. The only thing has changed is those words. So when you use Picasa to upload to Google Photos, you're still uploading at the 2048 pixels, the old Picasa limit, not the new higher Google Photos limit. Although 2048 was plenty for me, so that, that, that yeah. really doesn't bother me. I am still using Picasa just like I always used Picasa. But I am also using Google Photos because it is so much fun. All right. So we're ready to just show them some, show them some fun? Yeah, let's show them some fun. Okay. I, I've had too You've had enough fun. So fun. fun. Okay. Uh, okay. So here and full screen. There we go. And Google Photos. Now, what you do. Well, that's not showing. Oh, I'm sorry. I never, I never okay. did a share. <sighs> One more time. <sighs> Too much partying. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. You come to a place to visit friends, and we have been doing a lot of partying. <laughs> we have been having too much fun. Okay. Now. Now. Now you see it. Full screen. Okay. Good deal. And this is my Samsung. And where you use Google Photos is instead of your gallery. Why can't I get that to, thank you, thank you. Okay, instead of your gallery. So instead of that, well, let me show you that. This is the gallery that comes with the phone. So in here, I want you to notice that under camera, I have 16 plus 59 pictures. That's it, because I've kind of cleaned off this phone. So my gallery is only showing me the pictures that live on this phone. But if I go to uh, Google Photos, that's the multicolored pinwheel, 
I am seeing lots. Well, and I can pinch to see even smaller thumbnails and see that. <laughs> there we go. Takes a minute to come in. And notice that my 4G is only two bars here, between one and two bars, so not real great. But this goes all the way back, all the way back, all the way back. And I can even grab this one over here, 2004, 1969. Now those obviously are pictures that I scanned, that I scanned in. But I have at least 50,000 pictures. Okay, so that's the difference with the gallery and the Google Photos. Google Photos is looking at all your pictures in your Google account on the web. And if I take a picture with this, so I'm going to take a selfie. You ready for a selfie? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a sec. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to take a selfie here, and that is saved on the phone, but then it is uploaded to the Google Photos, and if I caught it fast enough, actually, we should see... that we have a little circular, no, I didn't catch it fast enough. So this has already been uploaded to the web, that, that little selfie there. All right, what else is fun? What's fun is finding your pictures. So I can look here, the search in the lower right. Where were we Yes. Oh yeah, we've been doing some fishing. We've been doing some fishing here in Long Beach Island the last week with friends with boats. Yeah. And I thought, gee, I wonder what other what pictures I have of us fishing. And I remember a time many years ago fishing here in Long Beach Island. So I can just tap search. I love this search feature. Type fishing. And done. And it'll look through all my 30 years worth of pictures. And these are the fishing pictures from this week. But then here is one from 2014. This is up in Washington. Now, it, and this is the one I was thinking of. 2012. This is also right here in Long Beach Island, but it was years ago. So searching for fishing. Now it's not perfect by any means. I mean, do you see any fish in that picture? <laughs> no comments. Okay. <laughs> fish face maybe, but uh, no, but it sees, it sees what looks like the railing from a deck of a boat and it sees water and it figures, oh, that might have something to do with fishing. So it, it does that. And do you want to show them anything on your phone? Or are you? Yeah, <laughs> I think I can. OK, so this is the Android. OK. And now I want Jim to show you his iPhone. Right. And once again, the difference between the gallery that comes with the iPhone, yeah, which is also called Photos, that's that one down there. So that's the one that comes with the iPhone, and this is showing you the pictures that are on the iPhone. Right. But then Google Photos, same icon, and it works just the same. All of those pictures are still there, yeah. So. So you, you were having fun here searching for lighthouses. Right. So you just... Tap the search and type up here. It's hard for me to see. Lighthouse. I already typed it just to get there a lot quicker. And look at this. So these are some pictures I just took this week. 
some more pictures. There are some from, let's see, this was down in the Bahamas. Oh, yeah. So that, last year in the Bahamas, right. lighthouses. Lighthouses. Now, do you think, did you type any keywords or file names or captions that said the word lighthouse? Certainly not on all of them, but I may have put it on a couple. But that's the thing. It doesn't matter because Google understands what lighthouses are. It just knows it's not perfect. You may have noticed a couple in there that were actually rocket ships from, <laughs> from Alabama. So. Yeah. That was that was pretty weird, but it thinks it's a lighthouse. So, and you know, any of these searches, it's just phenomenal. Just press the search. Want to see pictures of my grandson? I can just touch on his little face there, and all of a sudden, all of these pictures come up with my grandson in them. That's just too much fun. And all the way back to when he was a baby all the way back and you can do okay. that with people places and things and you seem to have more going on or you talk more anyway about the assistant yeah the so assistant, what do you like about the assistant? the assistant is the tool that i use to create things but there's also other things in there so if i go back the assistant will show me this happens to be something from rediscover this day this is new so on this day last year, I have some pictures. If I touch on that, it becomes a card and all the yeah, pictures. We were out in the Monterey, California area. Right, with our friend Aaron. Okay. Cool. So go back. But it will also create by itself some shows like a movie. So this is something that it created all by itself. Let's see if we can get that. A movie. So it takes some of the videos and some of the pictures and it just creates automatically this thing and it just shows up right in the assistant in fact the assistant gives you a notification you'll see a little google photos icon the pinwheel up in your notification bar yeah and whenever i do i get all excited yeah. <laughs> i think oh what kind of present do you have for me today All right, that's enough of that. We're having too much fun here. And where did the music come from? The music is built into the system. It's, it's just pretty amazing what, what they give you. Just Now, you can change the music. You can change the order. You can add some pictures in there. And you can create your own. So using the assistant, you can create. It depends on your device. But if you want, you can create. Let's see. Can you see that? It's hard to see. Yeah, we can go back to mine. I'll create Albums, a... movies, stories, animations, and collages there. Okay. So for the sake of time, I'll just show a couple collages because that is the that is the quickest. And so these are some pictures we just took yesterday. And step one, all you do to create a collage is you select the picture. So you select one, two, three and four and five pictures i don't even see what i'm selecting then you have a plus in the upper right hand corner and it says okay with those five pictures that you've selected what do you want to make an album a movie a story an animation or a collage collage is the simplest thing but those others are so fun. Oh, yeah. The movie. That's what you spend most of your time doing, I think, is I've movie. been spending a lot of time just building these movies that just very short and with music and motion and all that stuff. It's just truly amazing. So that's a collage. And now that is in my Google Photos, Photos library. And where is that? Okay. I want to switch back over to the computer now.
Okay. Just to see, well, what if you don't, you know, there are actually people who don't have a smartphone, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> and we run into them all the time. <laughs> Hard to believe, yeah, but there are people who don't have a smartphone. So here I am, and if I go to Google Photos, Our internet connection is not the best here, but we're, it's doing pretty good. Yeah, we'll be glad to. Now, these are not my pictures. Where did these pictures come from? Why am I not seeing my pictures? Ah, That's because I, I this computer is currently logged in as Jim. So if I want to see my pictures, I just click on his little face and say sign out. now and this computer is all set up to work with any of those three accounts but the point of this being everything is in your account who you are logged in as is critical and because she has two-step verification turned on I already I already made sure that that was in there yeah okay um, it's a good idea to have two-step verification. That's a security measure, and you have to put in a code that gets sent to your phone. So two-step verification is something that you know, your password, and something that you have, your, your phone, phone. Right? So we're now on the computer, logged in as me, and I see that picture that we just took. The selfie. The selfie. And let's say that I wanted, and there's the collage that I just made on the phone. But one, one thing to know, what if I wanted to make a collage and I'm sitting on the computer? I can select multiple pictures and click the plus, but no collage. Oh. All you can do on the computer is add to album. At least so far, I'm sure that they will be coming. Confidence is high. Confidence is high. I just I don't know how long it'll take them, but I'm sure that it will be coming. But right now, you need a mobile device, and you actually need a special. Uh, some of our tablets are unable to create movies. Right. And so it's particular devices. Different choices depending on the device that you're on. But search. So I'm looking at my set of pictures. So I want to show you a special kind of search. I can search for July 4th, and that, I don't want Philadelphia 4th of July, I just want July 4th. <laughs> okay, and enter. And this will show me all pictures throughout the years that have been taken on the 4th of July. Wow. In the different years, so just on the 4th of July. And the four, I picked that because, well, first of all, it's a special day for anybody, but it's an extra special day for us it's because... It's our anniversary. It's, we were married on the 4th of July. And the reason that we did that, at least for me, is so I could remember that date. <laughs> <laughs> Hard one to forget. So here was happy anniversary on uh, July 4. That one says... 2012. 2012. But if we go all the way back... I'm just scrolling all the way back. And all these pictures are not on this computer, right? They are in my Google account in the cloud. In the cloud. In the cloud, on the internet. Pretty cool. And here is our actual wedding. And we, I just want to prove to people, see, we still wore those hats. <laughs> <laughs> we got married in these silly hats. But it's, it's, it's just too cool. Okay, so we're going to start wrapping it up. Yep. Um, one thing, oh, editing. Editing, i got to show you some editing, and I want to do that on the phone. All right. Go back so to the phone. back to this. Because you don't, if you take a lot of pictures with your smartphone like we do, you don't even have to get them to computer to edit them. There are good editing tools. 
So I'm going into photo and I have some samples here that, ah, what does this button do? I keep pressing these buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about pressing buttons. <laughs> Search. And I have some photos that I've put in an, an album called examples just to know that I can quickly have. And so this one. And that's extra. Uh, so notice how the faces are dark, but the sky is properly exposed. So for example, on Picasso, I can't do a whole lot with this picture. If I lighten it up, it will, it's going to lighten the sky as well as their faces. Notice this. Google Photos has an edit tool. It's this little pencil. And then you can just tap auto, kind of like the I'm feeling lucky in Picasso, but watch what it does. I think that is quite amazing. It is. And I use this, or at least I try it all the time, just because it can be such a... It does such a good job. And mm -hmm. it's, it's not... So people are saying that the editing tools that come with Google Photos are so limited. And yes, there are not many of them, but... I, I am so amazed by that one that uh, it fixes. I'm not going to save that. We will show you another one. And here is a picture, a typical picture going down the road. Let's do it this way so you can see more. And often when you take a picture out the front window of a moving vehicle, it'll be crooked easily fixed with the crop tool and then in the middle you just you just drag it's just a slider just like Picasso until it looks right and then you can also crop it a little bit more by just dragging the corners in and you tap the check mark to say you're done with that now I don't see that auto anymore but I know that it's under these sliders because you have the choice of auto or you can manually adjust the light color, the pop, and the vignette. But let me try auto. And that's pretty good, but I'll bet it might even be better with a little bit of pop. When I tap on pop, I get this slider. Ooh, yeah. So that's like more HDR? A little bit. And, and color and sharpen and... That's why they call it pop, because it's several things. Well, that's cool. Yeah. So I like that one. One thing you cannot do is text on the picture. With these tools. With these tools, right. So I want to show you another tool. So now we are leaving Google Photos, because Google Photos right now cannot add text to pictures. When they do, I sure hope they do it like this program. This is called PhotoFi. It's that orange icon, PhotoFi, F-Y, and it's free. And it has all sorts of tools. And it's showing some errors. But here's one that I did earlier. Maybe you saw it on our Facebook page. I posted it on our Facebook page. No, I don't. But I want to do it fresh for you. So I pick. Ah. What does this button do? <laughs> what does this button do? Help. Photofy. And I pick a picture of a lighthouse. And I say, I don't know why it wants to, it, it needs to stay in the vertical format. Create with one photo. So I just selected the photo that I want to work with. There is the lighthouse. And I think the picture looks pretty good just as is. But I want to turn it into a meme. M-E-M-E. -E. Those are those pictures that have the words on top and the words on the bottom. Meme. Yeah. And... It's under text and overlays, 
and mean. And all I do then is type. And I can say, and I'll just make it all caps, another beautiful day. Beauty power. Yeah, well, thank you. Beautiful day. And at the bottom, I'll type on Barnegat Bay. Barnegat. Jeez. I can't get a B. Huh? Barnefot. <laughs> <laughs> Barnegat Bay. Barbiegat. <laughs> it's okay, Chris. They know. Okay. And then I check mark. And there I have my meme. And you can make a few edits to it. You can also add some stickers. You know, a little barefoot. And you can change the size. Lots and lots of fun to be had playing with pictures using photo -fi. wouldn't it be cool yeah in fact wouldn't it be cool if google bought photo -fi and put that Ooh, all I'll into incorporate that in there would that i'm I, i'm just wishing and hoping oh, okay. i think that would be cool all right all right that's enough fun with google photos let's find that slideshow and get out of here <laughs> we have another party to go to <laughs> <laughs> just what we need okay all right so have we done that yeah well please we subscribe to, show... to our youtube channel it's important geeks on tour the app of the week is fish predictor yeah. and the the people that jim goes out fishing with here go fishing all the time i've heard them out three and four times in one day so they know all this stuff and they showed us this fish predictor and we said oh my god i've never seen such a thing it is really cool and it will do fish predictions it uses the sol lunar tables and weather and okay here it is so i can go right into the lunar prediction you can put in different locations so i put in burning at light and today it's actually very very good that's like fishing. as good as it gets yeah, isn't it five, five stars, stars. Well, it's a full moon, too. I think that has a lot to do with it. Ah. But we actually went out fishing the uh, day before yesterday. There were four stars, and we caught a lot of fish. And there are a bunch of pictures, and we'll put some up on the web for you to see. So Fish Predictor is my app of the week. But it has maps for the area. Let's see if it's fast enough to bring it in. So this is where we are now. And this is where we went fishing. Is by the lighthouse. By the lighthouse, that very lighthouse. So that's where, and tells you about the weather. And you can have buddies and, and have contests and stuff. Oh, yeah. You can try, you can actually record your catches too, right? Right. You can, there's a camera piece in there that you can use. There's, but the main thing, of course, is just looking and seeing when is the best day to go fishing right. in your location. <laughs> so if you are a fisher person, now they have these for hunters, too. I don't hunt, but except for lobsters. I don't think they have lobster catching on there yet, but that would be something that I would like to see. <laughs> okay. Well, looks like it's time for uh, time to go to our party. Time to go to our party. <laughs> okay. And we hope you got to see some of that. Yeah. Well, it does show. Uh, we had about twenty-five viewers on. It found us. Oh, okay. If we do uh, crash, and we'll 
put one up real quick as quickly as we can that just goes to show you this technology is just amazing so what do you got here well i just never did show them any of the fishing pictures and making a movie of them oh okay but <laughs> okay um yeah so here are I can say, I can really tell that that's a picture of Jim fishing. So on the phone, all you have to do is touch and hold a long press, and then drag across the pictures you want, and then the plus, and then make a movie. It is, it is just so amazing that we couldn't stop without showing you that. Now, this is the part that takes time. That's just its time, not our time. Right. <laughs> you select the pictures and video clips, tap the plus, make movie, and it goes and gets the music, it does the transitions, and it's ready to go. <laughs> now, if you don't like the music, one. you just tap the little, yeah, if you don't like the music, you just tap, tap the little music. musical note, and you can choose other music, and there's a ton of them. You can just play with what music you want. If you don't like the order of the pictures, you can tap here, and you can now long press on an image and move it over. If you didn't like the theme, you can tap on that first button and you know try a different theme. That's and how a bunch it's put of together. There too. Yeah, I really don't like hardly any of them though. I almost always go with natural. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Occasionally. You so need to. play with Google Photos. It's just too much fun. It is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's close this thing out. Can we get out of here? There we go. And back to here. Can you hit it? Is that it? Yep, that's it. Go there. And if you want to ask any questions in the in the comments, we'll try to answer them there. <laughs> yeah, we'll try and get your questions answered. Like us on Facebook. Or on Facebook. Yeah, that's a good place too. Continue the conversation on Facebook. Great. Did you learn something? Don't hmm. punch that button before <laughs> the show is over. I, I learned that today. Okay. Okay. All photos that are uploaded by Google Photos are stored where? In your account. Make sure Make you're sure logged you're into the right, right account. account. That is what gives people the biggest panic. <laughs> they go to Google Photos and their pictures are gone. It's because they're not logged into the right account. How many pictures can you upload to Google Photos? Unlimited, as long as you accept the quality of high quality and not original quality. And high quality is up to 16 megapixels. That's just great. Unlimited. Uh, true or false, to make a collage story or a movie using Google Photos, you need to use a computer. Absolutely false. For the first time in my memory, the phones are can do things that the computer cannot computer cannot make a movie or a collage using Google Photos yet. Directly. Right. The phones can. True or false, the editing tools that come with Google Photos are few in number but are very good. I say true. I am very impressed, especially with just the autocorrect. Yeah. And Google Photos has no way to put text on a picture. To do that, Chris demonstrated what app? It's called Photofy, P-H-O-T-O-F-Y, and it's right. fun. <laughs> it is. It is cool. There are a couple of add-on applications for editing, but Photofy, I think, is probably the best that we've found, right? Um, so far. Yeah. So what's the web page that lists all of our weekly shows? Geeksontour.com, and the menu item is weekly show. Okay. And where are all our recent newsletters. 
geeksontour.com. The menu item is blogs and articles, and newsletters is under there. And benefits for joining the Geeks on Tour? You get access to all the tutorial videos, and we have started a new set on Google Photos. I've got a lot more to do, but <laughs> they're started. You can ask questions in our members' Q&A forum, and you get the show notes of these shows. Very cool. So we invite you to become a member at geeksontour.com. Just click the link that says join now. Next time, episode 51, cables, chargers, connecting to phones, to computers. Oh, man, that sounds like work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, but... Watch for the notification for the next show. Be sure to click that you're coming and leave any questions there in the comments. That's where we will be looking for your questions. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> Gotta laugh. Now I made that using what program you do think? Oh, oh fi. Fi. <laughs> Okay. But what does this button do? Now we know. <laughs> <laughs> it turns off the show. And here I'm going to touch that button again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you next time. <laughs>